Sure, they were not dating. They were not. This was an affair of sorts. They saw each other to laugh and fuck and not be lonely. To listen to music and disagree and give each other back ribs. The temperature was never right. Too cold for her, too hot for him. She wore sweatshirts to his t-shirts. He was simple and unfashionable. In jeans. In the court of the complex fashion queen. Long live Cass. A long affair it had been. They were attached. Otherwise, he wouldn't feel betrayed by her and that photo she left on his coffee table of Psycho, a young man not far from him in age. She would not tell him what happened. He did not need to be told. Maybe his inability to trust her made him unjustifiably angry. Maybe he wanted to love her. The last time he had seen her was at a film screening where she was to be late and he was to save a seat for her. Her sister showed up and he gave her the seat. She was a dancer. He had seen her moves caught in black and white and beautiful and her attitude and mystery charmed him, free of inhibition. Uninhibited enough to bust him in the jaw that time he tried to make moves on her, blow cushioned by cheek full of chaw. That's called giving back. Stupid, he cursed himself. He can't kiss a girl, beech nut. Will was lost in this city, and there was nothing better than that. He could taste the blood in his mouth and the night of the day. Afternoons were light through a tapestry in a room paneled with wood. Cat swishing her tail to foreign films with spare dialogue and subtitles. A heavy grain. The phone did not ring. No television. No commercials. Lost he was. And Cass would send out her snakes to find him, charm, and release. There could be nothing to take him down. No celebrity. No status. No pride. All he needed was his youth and a willingness to let himself down and make mistakes, see the world eye to eye, take the bad with the good, without censure. Censorship stole shields from the young, sent them naked out into the world, no understanding of the streets where arrogance, selfishness, ignorance could leave you a junkie, slut, crackhead panhandler, or dead in days. Hell, even intelligent good people ended up on the street. Uncensored wisdom had no mercy for ignorant hands and minds. Wisdom never sits still. It'll pass you by when you shut your eyes, thinking it's yours like the bus at your stop, CTA card in your hand. Cass, She could not touch Will.